Yo, what's up YouTube? My name is Brian Delmata, if you didn't already know that. In this tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how to make a photo edit just like Champagne Poppy himself. So recently I've noticed that Drake has been posting a lot of photos that are actually shot on a film camera. They're shot by this guy named Jamil GS, and I really like the look of them. I think they're really cool, but I don't really have the time to shoot always on a film camera and then go get them developed and scan them over my computer. So I'd figure I'd just create the frame of the photo so you can put any photo in there and make it look like a film. So for example, here's the original photo and then I just cropped in a little bit just so it doesn't have the border. And then here's my version. And I did three different ones and you can use them with different photos. It's super quick and simple to do. I'm gonna have the pack in the description below. It's gonna be 50% off for the first 48 hours. Inside the pack, I'm gonna include this Photoshop file where you can go in and change the text. So say you didn't want it to say Kodak, you wanted to say your name, so I could type in Brian. I think it's all in caps actually. You could have it say Brian there. You could have it say your Instagram handle. You can just make it say whatever. You can also drag these play buttons around, say you wanted one up here, and then maybe you wanted to move this over here. It's basically fully customizable and it's super simple. I'm also going to include three PNG files. So if you were editing on something like your phone or something, and you had an app that just allowed you to overlay an image over another one, you could do it that way too. And it just has these three that are already pre-built. All you have to do is drag and drop them on. So if you don't want to customize it, that's totally cool. And it's even faster that way. All right, so now I'm gonna be showing you what it looks like with one of my actual photos. So all you have to do is drag and drop the photo in here, make sure it's behind the film overlay and then scale it up. So it fits here without having any of the transparent areas showing. And then I'm gonna show you what it looks like with all three of these. So as you can see, it's super simple. The only thing I'd recommend for the photo when you're actually editing the photo itself is to add a lot of extra grain and noise, bump up the highlights so they're kind of almost clipping and add a decent amount of contrast and maybe even warm up the photo with the temperature. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the tutorial. So if you wanna purchase the pack, the link will be down below. It's gonna be 50% off for the first 48 hours. So go ahead and get that real quick. But yeah, that's it for the video. So peace.